Welcome to beautiful Barbados. We are here on a beach today with a 15-minute intense workout session dedicated to total core toning. Through various plank and mat-based exercises, we will target the upper and lower abdominal regions as well as the obliques to help strengthen and define your entire core center. This quick and intense workout is designed to maximize results in a short amount of time, ensuring you leave feeling strong and energized. So remember to breathe, push through the discomfort, and listen to your body, of course. No equipment will be necessary, just yourself and your mat. So once you're ready, let's begin. Welcome, friends, to our core workout. Thank you so much for joining me here today. We're going to start by coming over to all fours position, starting by incorporating a little warm-up to engage all the muscles in our core. Tuck your back toes under. On your exhalation, you're going to simply lift your knees off the mat and just hover them into a bare hold. And then you're going to tap them back down. Exhale, lift for two. Inhale as the knees tap to the floor and then you lift them up for three. Tap and four. So start to engage also through your upper body by pressing into the hands. Your shoulders are engaged. Pulling your navel into the spine. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. Tap and lift. You got it. Tap and lift. And lift. Now just hold. Hover those knees. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Keep holding. Keep engaging your muscles. And then push your hips back into downward facing dog. Extending the knees. Just take a little wiggle side to side with your hips. And then we're going to go into our next exercise by coming into a plank. And then your right knee is going to reach for the left elbow. Left knee to right elbow. And then lift your hips back into downward dog. That counts as one. So we come plank, twist, twist, lift your hips for two. Come into plank, knee to elbow, knee to elbow, lift for three. And plank, knee to elbow, elbow, lift and open. High plank, touch, knee to elbow, and lift. Come back to plank, right knee in left knee lift almost there my friends now come back into plank and just stay with the knees to elbows two three four just alternating legs five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve keep going thirteen fourteen you got this stay with your breath keep twisting we're almost there it's going to be a short but powerful workout. We're going to lift those hips back up over to downward facing dog. Stretch it out. Inhale. And then exhale. Meet me back in plank. But this time let's come down into our elbow plank. We're going to start with hip dips. All you're going to do is just dip your right hip to the right. Center. Left. Center. So now we're going a little deeper into the oblique region of our core. Center. Center. Still at the same time engaging your upper body as well. Tap center and then opening to your right elbow, side elbow plank and just give me little dips with the hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the top arm for a breath in. Exhale, return back into your elbow plank. Let's take one more set of hip dips. Two, dip and center, dip and center. Center, center, you got it. Left, right, left, right. And open to the left side now. Right arm reaches up or onto your hip and dip the left hip down and up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Work that oblique. 10, awesome guys. From here, come back into that elbow plank. See if you can hold it there, we're almost through. 
Breathe deeply, hold, hold, hold. Deep breath through both nostrils. Exhale out, you got this. And come on up to your hands and release into downward dog. Good job, my friends. Use the stretch to give you a little break. And then once you're ready, go ahead and hop all the way to the front of your mat and land onto your hips. We're going to slowly make our way all the way down onto our back. So nice and slow. And then once you're all the way down, hands behind your head, elbows out. Come into a full sit up, right elbow, left knee, and then come back down to the floor. Sit back up, other side. Left elbow, right knee, twist, and come back down. So that counts as one. We lift up, twist to your left, and slow and controlled, come down. Sit back up, twist to your right, lift your right knee off the mat, and lower. Now from here, come back up, and then right elbow to the left knee, and then just continue with that twist. Two, and lower the foot. Three, four, you got it. Five, six, nice twist of the oblique. Seven, eight, nine, one more. Ten, hold. Now lower the body, bring that left knee with you. And then extend your right leg so it's hovered above the mat. And we're just going to work with that straight leg first. All you're going to do is slowly bring your right leg that's extended up to the sky and lower down. Continuing to stay in that twisted position, lift your right leg and lower. To make it easier, you can extend both arms down or keep them behind your head. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Lower, lift, and lower. Now bring the right leg up, extend your left leg and bring it in. Stay in that same position, just the other leg now is working. And in, extend, bring it in, extend, bring it in, extend, in, and in. Almost there. Extend, bring it in. And then drop your right leg and take your bicycle twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. You got it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Release. All right. Let's reach your arms over your head. Just do a little quick stretch of your core. And then we're going to do it another time through. Hands behind your head, elbows out. Let's do a full sit up. And then twisting to your right, center, left knee, center, lower down, inhale. Exhale, sit up. Now if you wanna make it a little easier, if you're getting tired, just bring your knees up to your chest and keep your arms extended. Up to you. Just listen to your body or continue with the twist. And lower down, inhale. Exhale, sit up to the right, to the left, lower down, and sit up, take it to the right, center, left, center, now let's twist to the right and just do little pulses, one, two, you got it, twist, three, four, really going to fatigue those obliques today, you got this, seven, eight, nine, 10, slowly release, bring that right knee with you. Extending your left leg, stay in that twisted position. And let's just extend your left leg, lower down and bring it up for one. So your right elbow is opening, your left elbow is reaching for that inner right knee. Of course, you can modify this by just untwisting the body, keeping your head down and only working with the legs. That's another option. You got this, lower and lift, lower and lift, lower the leg, bring it up, lower the leg from here, bring it up and now extend your other knee and bring it in for one and two, push away three. If you need to open up both elbows, go ahead and do that. Four, you don't have to stay in that twist, five, six, Seven, almost there, my friends. Eight, 
nine one more awesome drop your left leg and give me bicycle twist two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten nine eight seven six five four three two one and rest all right my friends take a big breath out and then drop your feet lift your pelvis into a nice bridge stretch it out stretch out your core and then slowly drop vertebra by vertebra back onto the mat knees come into the chest and then just bring the hands slightly underneath your sit bones just to make sure you can keep your lower back grounded you're going to lift your hips and then push the feet away just a little lift and extend so mini jackknife we don't go all the way up to the shoulders just a little lift of the hips off the mat push away lift and press now remember if your lower back comes off the mat then you're going to extend the legs a little bit higher off the mat lift the hips and lower the legs lift extend lift extend almost there extend bring it in now cross your ankles you want you the same lifting movement of your hips and back off the mat but this time landing it to one side of the mat and then the other side of the mat so you lift and pivot just slightly lift and pivot and then once you land on the mat your legs lower maybe about halfway lift to the left lift to the right so that motion of you're moving your body from the left side of the mat to the right is where we're engaging through the oblique muscles and the lower abdominals lower lift good back to center keep your ankles crossed and we're just going to go scissor crosses down and bring it back up you got it so we go cross cross all the way down as far as you're comfortable without having to lift your lower back off the mat and bring it back up cross 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 and up 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 engaging through the inner thighs here a little bit as you're doing the cross movement scissor those legs good lower two three four and five six seven to the top good legs together flex your feet at this time just do a little stretch of the hamstrings and then to engage a little bit on the upper abs, we're going to simply reach your hands towards the toes and then lower, lift and lower. Little toe tap. You can take this movement as fast or slow as you like. Trying to reach as high as you can. Touch the toes and lower. Touch, lower, touch, lower. Lower, down, reach and reach reach try to get that physical contact with your fingers and toes if you can now lift and just hold it point your toes and drop your feet but continue to keep your shoulder blades off the mat arms at your side palms open now touch the outside of your left foot with your left hand and then the right so we go reach to the side side so side crunch shoulder blades are staying lifted above the ground engagement here and really working through the obliques to the left ankle right ankle left ankle right ankle crunching from the side crunch crunch reach 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 you got it and reach 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 almost there my friends this is our final exercise home stretch and you're done beautiful Reach the arms over your head. Let's stretch it out. Let's come up into a bridge. Let go of your abdominal muscles. If you'd like to go even deeper and it's within your practice, you want to release a little further. See if you can come into a full wheel. Opening up through the frontal area of your body. Give those abs a well-deserved stretch. Feel free to stay in your bridge or full wheel wherever you are. Deep breath in. And then exhale, let's all come down with our spine to the mat. And then rock your way forward over to seated position to close off our awesome workout here together by taking a deep breath, reaching both arms up to the sky. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart. 
Awesome, guys. Thanks so much for joining me here today for this intense core workout. I hope you feel amazing. And I look forward to seeing you in our next class. Thanks again. I hope you enjoyed this practice. If you would like to slim down and tone up, I would like to let you know about the Blissful Body Bootcamp. First things first, this is a completely free seven day bootcamp, a course that I created for anyone that is looking for incredible results. What's most important about this particular bootcamp and program is that you are rolling out your mat every single day, stepping on your mat and dedicating yourself to a practice. So remember, it's all about listening, tuning in, pushing yourself to that next level and having fun. Because really what is this all about? is to have fun while we're working our body. So come with me. It's completely free. And all you have to do is just simply click this link here and discover how powerful you truly are.